Okay, so back from uh, some technical difficulties, NKL. So uh, L is the one we just off screen. So it says 70 degrees is from N to K to L. So that's 70 degrees. Um, so for example, if I was to take a look for other angles, what might be a quick one I can find? KNL. So KNL. Um, how did you get KNL? Sorry? Can you see the letters? OK. Yes, but then you need one more to make the angle. OK. L. OK. So OK, L, what is the angle in between there? Yeah, well, the whole thing is 90, so there's got to be 20 left over. OK, what else can we find from this picture? One way you can do that is these are the radius, so that's an isosceles triangle. <coughs> um, anything else we can come up with? K O N must be seventy. K O N must be seventy. How did you get that? Okay, so if this is seventy degrees up here, okay, here's the chord. I'm going to look for the angle which is opposite to the chord. Okay, so. Um, here though. Um, in order for that to work, it would have to touch the edge of the circle because this one, that point, it only touches the center. It doesn't go to the edge. So that one unfortunately won't work for the twisted sister property or the tangent chord theorem if we want to be proper mathematicians now. Which angle were we talking about again? KOM, the whole thing here. Yeah, so 140. Yeah, we can do that. 140 because of the isosceles triangle. Um, what about this angle down here? Can we get this one? <coughs> 70. How did you know that, Jackie? Sim simpler. There's something simpler. Can anyone help Jackie out? How do you know that both those angles are 70? Uh, not guaranteed because it's the same triangle, but there's something special about that triangle. Equal angles, equal sides. So this side is equal to this side. Um, we talked about this. Where the tangents meet from that point, to where they touch the circle has to be the same length. So if that's the same length, the angles must be the same also because it is an isosceles triangle. Okay. Um, so we also know then that uh, uh, this the full angle in here is going to be 40 degrees. Okay. So is there any way we can figure out? Km is a straight line. Yes. Okay, but can we figure out, um, can we do anything to figure out what the angle is here? Like just the, not the full angle, but just the two small ones, like K, <coughs> sorry? How did you know it was 90? Okay, um, can we guarantee that it's a bisector? How do we, if, if it cuts it in half, we just need to be able to, to say why it, we know it cuts it in half. Um, hmm. Well, uh, I think there's a, if we, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's enough. I'm not sure if that's quite the way. You're right, they do bisect, but um, how do we know that they bisect each other? Well, if we were to think about this as 
uh, this is the way I would think of it. It's one way I could for sure convince somebody that it does. Um, if I take a look at the two triangles, if I take a look at triangle K N L, and I take a look at triangle um, M N L. Okay, we've already said two of the sides are equal. We can uh, this side here and this side here are the same. So I got one piece of the triangle that is equal. Um, this is clearly the same side in both uh, pictures. So now I have two sides the same. And we've already got an angle that's the same. So if those two triangles are the same, then this angle must be the same as this angle. right? This angle must be the same as this angle because the triangles are the same triangles. So that's how I know it for sure cuts it in half. So 180 degrees, 90 will be cut in half. And then that leaves me with uh, 20 degrees up in the corner here. Okay, 40 degrees cut in half. Same triangle for each side, so each one gets an equal share. Okay, so um, let's do this last part here that says if OL is 5.4 centimeters and OK is 1.8 centimeters, calculate the length of the tangents. So let's, uh, I'll label that here, OL, the whole thing. Um, let me clear some space here. People are always so impressed by the, the colors. <laughs> okay, so now that we got some more space, it says that uh, it says 5.4 is OL, so it's this whole piece here. And 1.8 is OK. So to find the length of the tangents, so this is one of them here. Um, we already know this is 90. We talked about that just a minute ago. That's right. That's the guy. So if I go 5.4 squared minus 1.8 squared, then I can get it's, uh, well, it's going to be a decimal, but we'll call it 25.92, which is about 5. So this one here would be 5.1 centimeters. And again, we've already, there's no need to recalculate the other side. We've said that this side must be equal to the other tangent. So this one also is 5.1 centimeters. Okay. Okay, so I think that's enough of playing around with the tangent chord property. There's a few extra examples if you want to uh, give those a go. But uh, let's stop here.